let us sit comfortably. Sukhasana, Padmasana, Artha Padmasana, whichever is comfortable for you. Hold your shoulders, make your spine erect, palms open to the ceiling, eyes closed. And take long deep breaths. Inhale deeply and exhale slowly. Inhale positive energy and exhale all your worries away. Take one more long deep breath in and breathe out slowly and completely. Now let us chant Om three times. Bring your fingers to Chin Mudra and breathe in for Om. Om. Slowly join your palms together. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bhunatu Sahaviryam Karavavakai Tejas Vinavadita Mastuma Vid Vishavahai Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. 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 Sh
Breathe in Ujjayi. Keep looking at the eyebrow center and keep breathing. Now breathe in Ujjayi and hold the breath. Breathe in Ujjayi and hold the breath. Keep looking at the eyebrow center and keep holding the breath. Hold the breath for 10 or 20. And once you're not able to hold, then breathe out and close your eyes. Okay? We are going to repeat this for a few more times. First, adopt Kechari Mudra. Breathe in Ujjayi. Then Shambhavi Mudra, keep looking at the eyebrow center. Keep breathing in Ujjayi. Now breathe in Ujjayi and hold the breath. Hold the breath, keep looking at the eyebrow center. Stay there up to 10 or 20 counts. And then when you're not able to hold further, breathe out and close your eyes. Now let's just start again. Kechari Mudra, rolling your tongue to the upper palate and breathe in Ujjayi. Then keep looking at the eyebrow center, Kechari Mudra, I'm sorry, Shambhavi Mudra. Now breathe in Ujjayi and hold the breath, keep looking at the eyebrow center. Once you are not able to hold, breathe out and close your eyes. We'll do this one more last time. Kechari Mudra, breathe in Ujjayi. Shambhavi Mudra, keep looking at the eyebrow center. And breathe in Ujjayi, hold the breath. Once you're not able to hold, breathe out and close your eyes. Now 
then slowly relax. So this Murcha Pranayama, it is a concentration Pranayama. Why it is called as Murcha Pranayama? Murcha means paint, painting breath, okay? When we are concentrating on the eyebrow center and also holding the breath, at one point we will feel some faintness in the breath. We will feel uncomfortable with the breath and that is the reason this is called as Murcha Pranayama. This also helps to regulate the energy and also to enhance our lung capacity. Holding the breath actually increases our lung capacity, but at the same time, it puts a lot of pressure on the heart. So heart patients or whoever are having high BP should not hold the breath for a long time, okay? Otherwise, this is working on the dharana. Dharana means concentration. We are concentrating on the eyebrow center as well as the breath, okay? Yeah, so this is about mocha pranayama. Now let us start with our warm-up. Let us stretch our hands to the sides. Stretching your hands to the sides, okay? Take it back as much as you can, take it back. And then bring forward and hug yourself, okay? When you're hugging, bring your palms on the shoulder blades, okay? Stretching your hand wide apart, then hug yourself. Keep anchoring your hands each time, okay? Stretching your hand, bring your right hand up, hug yourself, stretch, stretch as much as you can, and left hand up, hug yourself. One more time, stretch as much as you can, and then hug yourself, then one more time to the left. Left hand up, hug yourself, then come back to the center. Now, let us stretch our legs wide apart. Let us stretch our legs wide apart, okay? Yeah, now bring your hands by the sides. Just bring your hands by the sides like this, okay? You're going to just bend it, bring it closer to your buttocks and stretch. Bend, knees straight, knees straight, your spine should also be straight, okay? And then stretch. Bend, stretch. Alternately, let us do left leg bend and stretch. Right leg bend and stretch. Left leg bend and stretch. Right leg bend and stretch. Left leg bend and stretch. Right leg bend and stretch. Then come back to the center. Now bend your knees. Bend your knees. Okay? Bending your knees, keeping your hands on the front leg. You're going to bend, lift your leg up and down. Lift your leg up and down. Lift your leg up and down. Now, now lift and straighten up forward. Then take back and down. Lift, straighten up your leg forward. Then go back and down. Lift, straighten up. Then go back, down. Lift, straighten up. Then go back, down. Now turn Bring your left leg forward, right leg back. Hold your left leg and lift your right leg up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Now lift it, then straighten up forward, then go back, down. Lift, straighten up forward, then go back, down. Lift. Straighten up forward, then go back, down. One more time, lift, straighten up forward, then go back and down. Now, from here, let us come to, coming to Malasana, okay? We gave some hip mobility, we are coming to Malasana. Now, coming to the two, three steps, we are going to go forward and two, three steps, we are going to come back, okay? Keeping your palm fingers onto the ground, walk in Malasana, walk in Malasana, you are just walking in Malasana, forward, walk in Malasana, and backward, walk in Malasana, okay, this is very, very good for our respiratory 
uh, sorry, um, reproductive organs. Okay, forward walk and backward walk. One more time, forward walk and then backward walk. Then come to kneeling position. Then come to kneeling position. Yeah? Okay. Now, bringing your palms together, raise your hands up, arch your back, then come back down. Okay? Now, bring your hands by the sides. Okay? Bringing your hands by the sides. When you're going to arch, you bring your hands by the sides, arch your back, okay? And stretch your hands forward and stretch your hands down. If you can, try to bring your forehead towards the mat. Then slowly come up, bring your hands by the sides, arch your back, stretch your hands forward, and go down, if you can go down, bring your forehead towards the mat. Come up, bring your hands by the sides, arch your back, then go down, stretching your hands forward, forehead towards the mat. Stretch up, arch, hands also by the sides, then slowly stretch your hands forward, Straighten up and bring your forehead towards the mat. Now from here, go to table. From here, go to table. We do the extended puppy pose. How we are going to do it? Your knee and hip should be in one straight line. You're going to try to bring your chest and chin to the ground. So keep walking your hands one step forward and try to bring your chest towards the ground. Try to bring your chest towards the ground. Chest and chin to the ground. Okay? Hip should be up. Hip should be up. Chest and chin to the floor. And stay here. Extended puppy pose. Very good for your back. Stay here. Stay here for a couple of seconds. Slightly different from our child pose. Your chest should come to the ground. Then slowly come back to the center. Now we'll do the threading the needle. Threading the needle, raise your left hand up and thread the needle like you bring your left hand into the right and bring your left shoulder blade to the ground. Now raise your right hand up and stay here. Stay here. Stay here for a couple of seconds. Then slowly come back to table again. Now do the same thing on the right. Stretch your right hand up and thread the needle through the left hand. Once your right shoulder is on the ground, raise your left hand up and stay. Stay here for a couple of seconds. Then slowly come back to the center. Slowly come back to the center. Now, from here, let us go to Adho Mukha Downward Dog and start pedaling your feet. Pedal your feet, pedal your feet without lifting the legs off the ground. Just heel, alternate heel up and down. At the same time, try to bring your crown to the ground so that you will feel a nice stretch in the shoulder blade. Now slowly come on your toes and start walking forward. On your toes and start walking forward. Walk forward, walk forward to Padahistasana and then slowly raise up. Okay? Now, let us come to the center, keeping little gap between the legs. Just move your hip from right to left. Move your hip from right to left. Hip movement should be right to left. Now, stretching your hand up, bringing your hand down alternately. Okay? Wave your hand up and down. Wave your hand up and down. 
So when you are going back, you also adopt one more thing. You bring your right hand to the left back. Okay? When you are going down, bring your right hand behind your left buttock. Then raise up the other side. Raise up and the other side. Do it alternately. When you are coming down, bring it. Try to wave your hands alternately. Okay? Now to the other side. Wave to the other side. Swing down. Swing down. The other hand back. Left hand to the right button. Wave your hand. Just wave your hand. Yes, super. Super. Yes, got the grip. Yes. Each time your hand goes to the opposite button. At the same time, you are moving your hip left to right. Super. Yes. Then come back to the center. Now, stretch your legs wide apart. Stretch your leg wide apart. And turn towards your right. Turn towards your right. You're going to bend from your lower back. Okay? And bring, like how we do in pyramid pose. Come down as much as you can. Once you've reached here, you raise your left hand up. Then come down. Right hand up. Come down. Left hand up, come down. Right hand up, come down. Left hand up, come down. Right hand up, come down. Each time, keep going a little more down. But at the same time, your spine should be straight. Left hand up, right hand up. Left hand up, right hand up. Then come back to the center. Then turn your legs towards the left. Let us do the same thing. Go as much as you can down. Your spine should be straight. See to that. And then do this. Right hand up. Left hand up. 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 Then come back to the center. Okay? Now let us kick our legs. Keeping your hands on your hip. Kick your legs alternately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now bend and kick. Bend. Bend your knees, kick. Bend your knees, kick. Bend your knee, kick. Okay? Kick back, kick forward. Kick your buttocks, kick forward. Kick your back, kick forward. The other leg. Kick back, kick forward. Kick back, kick forward. Kick back, kick forward. Kick back, kick forward. Then come back to the center. Relax. Relax. Today we will do Surya Namaskar with mantras. We will do Surya Namaskar with mantras. So after plank, you go to child pose. And from child, you go to Bhujangasana, sorry, Ashtangasana. Okay? Let us get ready. Get ready for Suri Namaskar. Suri Namaskar with mantras. There are 13 mantras and 12 poses. So we added, we added child pose in between. Right? Okay. Child pose is one restoration pose, which is very, very good. And it also helps to relax in between. Now, I'm starting the audio of the mantras. Om Bhaskarayana Om 
श्री सवित्र सूर्य नारायणाय नम ओत्राय नम ओवे नम ओ सूर्याय नम ओ गांडे नम ओ खगाय नम ओ पूष्णे नम
So whenever we are doing with, with mantras, we can get synchronized with the mantras and we can also close our eyes and practice this. Okay? Yeah? Synchronizing with the mantras, again, helps with concentration. We are going into dharana. That is the next step. Or the prior step before meditation. Okay? So there is one more thing we need to do before meditation. That is improving our concentration, right? Okay? So let us do some balancing poses. Ready? Let us do some balancing poses. Today we are going to do warrior three perfectly. Yeah? Ready? Okay. Come to the center of the mat. Okay, we are going to just practice first how to do. First, initially bring your hands on the hip and stretch your, bend your leg forward like this and stretch it back. Bend forward and stretch it back. Bend forward, bend your knee forward and stretch it back. Stretch it back as much so that you will be lifting your legs up to the hip level and bringing it parallel to the mat. Okay? Bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. So now when you are bending forward, you can also take wall support if you are uncomfortable initially. Okay? You can take wall support for your one hand. No issues. Yeah? Now, bend, back, stretch, and then bend forward and stretch forward also. Stretch forward also. Bend back, stretch, bend forward and stretch also. Stretch your leg forward as much as you can. Bend, then stretch back, bend and stretch forward. Okay? Then come back to the center. We'll do the same thing with the other leg. Bend first and stretch back. Bend forward and stretch back. Bend forward and stretch back. Bend forward and stretch back. Now bend and stretch forward also. Then go back and stretch. So forward stretch. Back stretch. Forward stretch. And back stretch. Forward stretch and back stretch. Then come back to the center. Now let us do the, let us attempt the warrior three. So what is warrior three? Bringing your hands by the sides and bring your hands up to namaskara and take your one leg back, one step back. Take your leg one step back and keep sliding your body forward and keep lifting your Back leg up. Both the hands are forward and keep looking at one point on the ground and stay here. Keep lifting the leg up. So your body will become like a T-shape. Come to T-shape and stay here. Stay here. Keep looking down. Keep looking down at one point and stay here so that you will be able to balance. Super. Now try to stay here. For hands, you can take support a little bit. You can take a support a little bit for your hands and stay here. Stay here. Stay here as much as you can. Stay here as much as you can and then slowly come down. Okay? Come down and straighten up. Now let us do the same thing on the other side. Okay? Straighten up your hands above your head. Yes. Take the right leg back and slowly keep moving your body forward. Take balance. At the same time, keep raising your back leg up. Keep looking forward, down. Keep looking down. Keep looking down at one point. Look at one point so that you'll be able to lift super, super. Balance, balance, balance. Be careful. Lift up and stay here. Stay here as much as you can. Stay here. Super. Wow. Super. No shaking. Be careful. Be careful. And once you're not able to 
and slowly come down, slowly come down, super, super. So initially we can take a wall support and do that, okay? Here, this is a balancing pose. Balancing pose improves our concentration. So now let us try Garudasana. Garudasana. Who is going to do Garudasana first? Let me see. Yeah. You are going to give <laughs> Suja did it. Suja Preeti done. Okay. Yeah. You should squat also. Yes, yeah, super. Super. You cross your legs, squat your legs a little, cross your hands. Yes, eagle hands, eagle legs, crossing your legs. Super. 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 Anybody able to interlock your uh, legs to the shin? Interlocking the legs to the shin? Yeah, I guess. Yes. Yes. Super. Now slowly come back to the center and do the same thing on the other side. Whichever leg you did, the other side. So first what we will do, squat. Okay? Either you can bend your legs like this and then squat. When you are squatting, what happens is you are able to interlock this here. If you are not able to interlock, no issues. Okay? So when your left knee is forward, bring your left elbow over the right and interlock and stay here. Yeah, so side view, side view, it will be like this. You'll be squatting a little. Yeah, and stay here. Super, super. Squat a little and stay here. Super. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. This is also one balancing pose because we are balancing in one leg. Stay here as much as you can. <laughs> Stay here. See, you can keep keep your leg down also like this. You can take support this way also. Right. Good. Super. Stay here as much as you can. And then slowly come back to the center. Come back to the center and relax. Relax. Then slowly come down to seated position. Let us get ready for meditation, okay? Today we will do a chakra affirmations meditation, okay? So for sitting for, a, for 10 minutes, let us do some seated poses and then we sit for meditation, okay? Yeah? So stretching your legs forward, we will do the Ardha Matsi and Rasana. Stretch your legs forward and bend your right leg. Okay? Once you come here, cross it over towards the other leg. Yeah? You can leave your other leg straight also if you are uncomfortable. If you are able to, slide your bottom leg to the right hip. Yes? Now, your left knee is above. Pull your, sorry, right knee is above. Pull your right knee towards the left. And you turn towards your right. Okay? See, I'm hugging my knee and pulling it. And I'm looking back. Yes. Now, bring, try to bring your left elbow and push a little more. With your elbow, push a little more. Push your knee towards the left a little more. And if you are able to do this also, bring your left hand and hold your right ankle and keep looking back. You will be feeling a twist in your abdomen. Stay here. And take one or two long deep ujjayi breaths. Then slowly raise your hand up. And stretch your both the legs forward. Let us do the same thing with the on the other side. Bend your left leg, cross it over towards the right, and slide your right leg to the left hip. Okay? Your left knee is up. Hug your knee and pull it towards the right. At the same time, twist your torso and look towards your left. Twist 
reach your torso towards the left. Now, if you are able to bring your right elbow and push it a little more. Push it a little more and bring your left hand to the right, right, uh, sorry, right hand to the left ankle and look back and stay here. Feel the twist in the abdomen. Stay here and take one or two long deep ujjayi breaths. Then slowly raising your hands up, stretch your leg one at a time forward and bring your legs, bend your legs and come to Siddhasana. Bringing your left heel closer to the perineum, right leg in front. Yeah. And stretch your hands by the sides, palms facing upwards and slowly raise your both the hands up. And bring your hands to Namaskara. Seated Parvatasana. Spine straight. And take one or two long deep ujjayi breaths. Then slowly bring your hands down. At the shoulder level, make a fist with the right hand. Take it back. Take your left hand back and hold your right wrist. Stretch your spine. Stretch your spine. Then keep moving your body forward. Keep moving your body forward. And try to bring your forehead towards the mat. Yoga Mudrasana. Stay here. And take two long mudra breaths. Then slowly come back to the center and relax. Relax. Now you can get ready for meditation. Sit comfortably. You can take wall support or sit in a chair. Keep your spine straight. That, that's it. Okay? Yes. Get ready. I'll play the audio. It's called Chakra Affirmations Meditation. Okay, we all know the seven chakras. Yeah. Today we will do practice. And after the practice, I will ask you questions. Okay. Okay, get ready. Welcome, yogis, to this guided chakra meditation using affirmations. Please begin by taking a comfortable seat or maybe by laying down, whatever is the most comfortable to you. So affirmations are a great way to connect with ourselves on a deeper level. As we move through each chakra, simply listen to the affirmation and internally repeat it to yourself a few times, noticing how each statement makes you feel. And you may close your eyes, feel into your body, connect to your breath. See if you can soften your shoulders, relaxing your jaw. And take a few breaths in and out through your nose at any pace which is natural to you. Feel any tension melt away. Bring your awareness to the base of your spine, your root muladhara chakra. Imagine it glowing bright ruby red. This is the space that governs safety, security, and trust. Breathe into this space and internally repeat, I am safe, grounded, and stable. My roots run deep. I am safe, grounded, and stable. 
my roots run deep. Next, move up to your sacral Svadhisthana chakra located under your navel. It glows bright orange and connects you to your sensuality, your passion, and your creativity. Breathe into this space and internally repeat. I allow myself to experience pleasure. My power lies in my sensitivity. I allow myself to experience pleasure. My power lies in my sensitivity. Focus now on your solar plexus, Manipura Chakra. The power center in the abdomen glows yellow like the sun. This is your source of self-esteem, willpower, and confidence. Breathe into this space and internally repeat I am powerful beyond measure. I accept myself fully. I am powerful beyond measure. I accept myself fully. Bring your awareness to your heart, the Anahata Chakra. Imagine it glowing bright green. Your heart governs compassion, love, and forgiveness. Breathe into this space and internally repeat, as I learn to love and accept myself, I also learn to love and accept others. As I learn to love and accept myself, I also learn to love and accept others. Next, move up to your throat Vishuddha Chakra. It glows bright blue and connects you to your voice and your ability to listen. Breathe into this space, internally repeating, my voice deserves to be heard, I listen with compassion. My voice deserves to be heard, I listen with compassion. Focus now on your third eye, Ajna Chakra located the center of your forehead. This is your source of insight, intuition, and imagination. Breathe into this space and internally repeat. I am in touch with my inner guidance. I trust my intuition. I am in touch with my inner guidance. I trust my intuition.
finally focus on the crown of your head, Sahasrara Chakra. It is a deep violet color and relates to spiritual growth, connection, and enlightenment. Breathe into this space and internally repeat, I am connected to the infinite wisdom of the universe. I am connected to the infinite wisdom of the universe. Notice where your awareness wants to linger. Maybe to a specific chakra. Or you might feel more connected to a certain affirmation. Take a few moments to breathe to connect to your body fully, bringing your awareness back to this present moment. And you might join your hands together at the front of your heart, bowing forward, namaste. Thank you so much, yogis, for doing this guided chakra meditation with me. Namaste. Slowly bring your palms together. Sarvi Bhavantu Sukina Sarvi Santu Niramaya Sarvi Badrani Pashyantu Ma Kachitu Kabakpave Slowly rub your palms, generate heat, cut them on your eyes and feel, feel the warmth, feel the energy. Now slowly looking through the gaps of the fingers, open your eyes with a beautiful smile. Have a beautiful day and have a beautiful night. Can anyone remember all the affirmations? Can anyone tell all the affirmations? Or one, one each? <laughs>